So we've been working on Octant and we're still not to where I would like to be as far as an application to, to help users of Kubernetes. But I do wanna share something pretty neat that Octant can do and something we'll be building on in the future. So assume you have a website and it's hosted in Kubernetes. And for this particular example, I have this website, it's running. Um, and um, the way that I like to explain it is, uh, pretend it's 5 p.m. on a Friday and it's a particularly warm day, so everybody's itching to get out of the office. Uh, so what does a developer on your team do? Well, I'll tell you what they do. They um, deploy a new release of the site. What's the worst that could happen? And um, this is all real time. And we notice right now that Octant's telling us that our website is broken. And just to prove that, I go here and look, my website's broken. But now, instead of having to do a cube control, cube cuddle, cube whatever dance to figure out what's wrong, um, we can quickly show um, for an application what's going on. And in this case, there's two errors. There's um, a bad um, ingress. Uh, what's wrong with the ingress? You don't have to look through the commit configuration anymore. It'll tell you, hey, this ingress has a, a bad um, service. So um, no editor in um, Octant right now. I'm gonna do that uh, pretty soon, um, probably in the, before the next release. So I changed it. I fixed my um, ingress, but still, look, if I go to the website, it's gonna be broken. Um, and this is, the, this is the part that trips people up. Um, I fixed this, why is it still broken? Octant can show you that, hey, um, there's no way that traffic can get to your pods because guess what? Your service and your pod aren't connected. Um, so if we go and we edit our service, uh, just to figure out what's going on here, um, before we do that, we'll click on it. Hey, it says the service is no endpoint addresses. Now this is another issue um, how are you supposed to know what can be, what can actually work? Well, what Octane can actually do for you here is, is this, is we can look at your service and we can tell you what selectors are going to be there. So for this case, um, I just happen to know that these three should be the actual selectors for, um, for this application. So whenever I go back to the application, um, what's going to happen is, uh, let me click on the resource here. You're gonna see that it's all ready and working. And once again, this is just showing you the power of being able to visualize what you have um, intuitively through a graphical interface. Now, one more thing that I want to show you, just show you that this website's back up. Um, uh, I want to be able to show you um, another release. We fixed the release. Now we're gonna do another release. Cool thing that Octane can do right now is it can show you um, a deploy happening in real time. So what's happening for the non-initiated, we have, um, we, we changed an image in our deployment. Um, Kubernetes creates new replica sets, which create new pods. And as you can see right here, and it actually happened pretty quick, um, our website was deployed and we could actually see it. What I would like to do is show show that information in, in a better form so you can actually see that um, image changed. Um, then we had replica set created and then we can see the replica sets um, move over or the pods move from one replica set to another and then we can see your website. And just to show you that, hey, this does work. Yeah, new site. And that's it.